Hey, what is up you amigos? My name is Super Rebel and welcome back to the second Watch Dogs video for today and we are going to be talking about all the confirmed weapons or weapons that have been spotted I guess you could say in the gameplay videos and the trailers and so on. So there was actually a total of 25 plus confirmed weapons that have actually been shown in gameplays and trailers and there was a total of 7 that haven't yet been shown in any media. So I guess you could say those are just weapons that are currently being rumoured. But as always, if you guys are going to enjoy this video, make sure you guys do punch that like button. Let's try to get something over 100 plus likes, guys. That would be really appreciated. And especially considering there are only 18 days left until this game will be released. So sit back, relax, and grab some popcorn, and let's get straight into the video. So first of all, let's start off with the melee weapons. So as you guys have seen in the trailers and gameplay videos, we have seen that Aiden is really fond of his baton. Now so far as I am aware of, this is actually going to be a default melee weapon. Now I know a lot of people have been asking whether or not we can have fist fights in this game, and I know we haven't seen anything as of yet, but no one has said that there isn't going to be fist fights in this game, so I would imagine we will be able to do this. If it turns out overall that there isn't going to be, you can still hit people with your guns that are close up, so I think that is pretty cool either way. But at this moment in time, those are the melee weapons slash tactics I guess you could say that have actually been confirmed. So moving on to the handguns slash pistols. So first of all we have the 1911 and we actually got to see this in some gameplay when Aiden was at the gunsmith. And it actually does say basic all purpose pistol widely available to low life folks. So I guess it's just your average pistol that you will see quite a lot in the streets of Chicago I guess you could say when it does come down to gangs and stuff like that. Next we do have the 92FS and we got to see this in some gameplay as well but we didn't actually get to see it in action we only saw it in the weapon wheel. Now the next pistol is a really powerful one and it's actually called the D50 and we got to see this in a screenshot with Aiden holding it. And as you guys can see it is actually gold so I guess that is a really cool finishing touch to the gun. And like I said it really does look powerful and just overall really epic to use. Next up we do have the P9MM and once again we did see this in the gameplay video but we didn't really get to see a clear image of it, this is all we saw. But either way this is still a confirmed pistol that is going to be in Watch Dogs. And lastly we do have the P times 4 and as you guys can see it does only have 2 stars out of 5 stars. So I guess you could say this is just your average pistol. And those were all the confirmed handguns slash pistols that we have as of now. So now moving on to submachine guns. So first of all we have the cyberpunk gun and this is actually quite a popular weapon in just any overall like FPS game in my opinion and it is a really cool weapon as well. Next up we do have the SMG 11 and we got to see a sneak peek of this in the trailer. Now the next two weapons haven't actually appeared in any trailers or gameplay so I guess you could say these are just rumoured to be making an appearance in Watch Dogs and these weapons are the MP5 and the MP7. However, the next weapon we did actually get to see and we got to see this in a screenshot which I will show you guys right now. So in my opinion, this weapon just looks absolutely insane. I really like the design on it and as you guys can see in this screenshot, it is currently firing with the bullets flying out and everything. It just looks absolutely insane. I really do think this is going to be one of my favourite weapons. Now the second to last weapon we do have is the Tommy Gun and we got to see this in the Season Pass trailer. And lastly we do have the Vector 45 ACP and once again we saw this in a gameplay video when Aiden was at the gunsmith and as you guys can see it is going to be $20,000 and it does say innovative SMG design with extreme stopping power at short ranges. So this is definitely a weapon you are going to want to have especially when you get into like shootouts with gangs for instance in their areas of course you are going to be crowded so this weapon is definitely going to come in handy in those situations and especially in multiplayer too. Now moving on to the shotguns. So first of all we have the double A12 and we got to see Aiden using this which I will show you right now and as you guys can see it does have a nice finishing touch with a camo and overall it is a really powerful shotgun it literally is the definition of mass destruction and I really can't say anything else for the shotgun it is probably one of my all time favourite though. Next up we do have a D12 and once again we got to see this when Aiden was in the gunsmith and as you can see it is going to be $12,000 and it does say classic pump action shotgun that destroys anything at close 
close range, so I would imagine it probably could blow off anyone's head. And once again, this is actually quite a common shotgun. Now the next shotgun is the one and only M1014 and you guys may be familiar with this one from COD4. And in COD4 it was actually a really cool weapon and really powerful at close range as well so I'm really excited to see how it is going to be in Watch Dogs. And lastly we do have the Spaz 12 and once again you guys may be familiar with this shotgun from maybe Black Ops 2 or Black Ops 1 because it was a really common shotgun in those sort of games. Or you may even remember this weapon from Terminator because I am pretty sure it was in the first or second one so yeah and it was a really powerful weapon as well. And not only that it's really fast paced as well. Now moving on to the assault rifles. So first of all we do have the ACR and if you guys look next to power it does have 4 bars out of 5 so with that being said this weapon is actually going to be insanely powerful. Next up we do have the AK-47 and once again we got to see this when Aiden was in the gunsmith but unfortunately it doesn't have a price next to it but it does say all around Russian workhorse great for close range encounters. And in my opinion, anyway, overall in any sort of game, the AK-47s have always been really awesome weapons and really powerful as well. And even on long range shots as well sometimes. Next up we have the Biometric Assault Rifle and wow, I'm actually lost for words on this weapon. If you guys just look at this, this weapon absolutely looks insane and I really like the finishing camo touch to it as well. And this is actually one weapon that I'm really excited to try out in this game. Next up we do have the Barrett M468 and there's not really much to say about this weapon because we haven't really seen it a lot. So we are just going to move on to the next one which is the Ultimax MK.5. And these guns have always been quite good when it comes down to your ammo because as you are probably aware these do hold quite a lot of bullets but the only downfall to this gun is when it comes down to reloading. But apart from that it's really good for long range shots as well. So overall I think this gun is absolutely amazing. Now moving on to the sniper slash anti-material rifles. So first of all we do have the M107 and once again we got to see this when Aiden was in the gunsmiths and as you guys can see it will cost you $20,000 and it does say 50 caliber sniper rifle that can rip through anything. And in my opinion this is actually going to be my first choice when it does come down to taking an enemy from a really long distance and especially when it says it can rip through anything I would imagine even if your enemy gets into a car you could probably be able to blow out that car within like 3 shots or something like that. So overall I am actually really looking forward to see how this sniper will actually work in terms of damage and so on. So the next one isn't confirmed yet so that does make it a rumour and apparently we are going to have a Russian sniper rifle in this game and this is what they look like so it's just one of those rifles where you take one shot reload, one shot reload. I don't really like them in my opinion but do you? Be sure to let me know right now down in the comments below. Now moving on to thrown weapons slash grenade launchers. So first of all we are going to be having sticky bombs as Geordie told us yesterday. Moolah. This is what I have for you. It's a uh, sticky bomb. It sticks. Now I'm actually not too sure about grenades since we haven't really seen anything but if we have be sure to correct me down in the comments below and let everyone else know. But from my research I haven't really seen any grenades. But either way moving on to the grenade launchers the first one we are going to have is the G106 and once again we saw this when Aiden was in the gunsmith. This is going to cost you $15,000 and it does say single shot grenade launcher. So one shot and boom the job is done. And the second grenade launcher is the GL94. So there it is, all the confirmed weapons for Watch Dogs. If I did miss any out or make any mistakes, be sure to correct me down in the comments below. And I would like to know which one is your most favourite weapon so far and which one do you not like? Be sure to let me know down in the comments below. And if you missed the earliest video, it was about Easter eggs in Watch Dogs. So if you didn't see that, be sure to go ahead and check it out. I will leave a link for you in the description below. But either way, that does bring today's video to an end. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. And if you are new to this channel, thank you for stopping by. Please do hit that subscribe button below to stay up to date with the latest in Watch Dogs news, ideas, updates, and all that good stuff. That will be really appreciated. And of course, you will become an amigo and part of the amazing, awesome, beautiful team. But either way, I will see you in my next video, which will be tomorrow. But until then, guys, I hope you have an awesome day. And adios, amigos.